All right, everyone. It's Johnny from WP Johnny. This is part two of my Gutenberg basic series. So now I'm going to show you how to set up third party blocks on your Guten on your WordPress site. So first off, um, any plugin that you see that adds like a function or a design or some kind of front end function will have an extra Gutenberg block for you. So for example, um, let's just get rid of this classic editor. I don't need it right now. Disable that. We have a form plugin, we have a slider plugin, we have a membership and a WooCommerce. All right. And as you can see on here, I mean, anything, uh, tables, any slideshow, any, any plugin that shows on the front end will, will likely have a Gutenberg block for you. So let's just do this. And I'm going to go and how about we create a new page? All right. And let's just call it third party blocks. And let's just hit publish. And from here, let's just go to browse all and check this out. Let's look for Meta Slider. I'm sure it's in there because I installed the, the slideshow. Okay, see, look, paid membership plugins. See, it has all these different blocks we can throw in here. Uh, how about this one? This will be a uh, membership account page. It'll look like that, right? Now let's do um, WooCommerce. Where's all the WooCommerce ones? See, look, these are all the WooCommerce ones. So I can do like a show all the uh, newest products, right? You see, we can edit the columns, how many rows, how many columns. So let's just do two rows, three columns. How about four columns? There you go. That's fun. And how about we, we don't show product rating and how about we don't show add to cart button right now because the styling is a little wonky. Okay, and so you can go here for options and of course, uh, I can install other Gutenberg plugins that will that that do WooCommerce blocks, right? And let's just for the heck of it, let's put some a heading right here and call it a uh, latest products. Uh, let's just center align this, and down here, let's let's look for that slider plugin. Yeah, there you go, Meta Slider, and I only have one slider slideshow. There you go, right? And we can even change the width. So it's like full or wide or narrow, normal width. Let's do full. So it goes the full distance of the page. And I'm gonna close this out. I'm gonna close this out. Let's view that page. Very cool, yeah. And let's put that form on there. How about a uh, form? I don't see, I don't remember the names of everything I put. Oh, WP forms, okay. I hope there's okay there, there's no default form I didn't create a form in there so but that's how you install a uh, third-party Gutenberg blocks and you can just go out there uh, whatever plugin out there that you can find will probably already have a Gutenberg block now there are very specific Gutenberg block libraries I call them libraries because they're Gutenberg blocks that are used specifically to design your site give different layout and cool features and options so let's just start with some simpler, simpler ones. How about let's do a cadence block. All right. I don't know if it's installed on this site. So let's just go now and let's search. You know what? Actually, I think it is installed because I was testing all this stuff like a while ago. Right? Boom, boom, boom. And then we just have to name. Oh, whoops. Guess I deleted it. Here you go. There you go, Gutenberg blocks by K. Okay, confused. I, I understand why they're putting that keyword because it's for SEO purposes. But later on, you won't even have to, you just say blocks. See, so it shows you all these cool blocks that it comes with, right? And I'm gonna go here now and let's just refresh this backend page. And here we are. And down here, let's scroll down to Cadence. There you go. So it's stuck cadence blocks at the top. So see, you can have a like row layout. So this is like their columns function. You could do testimonials. Let's throw some testimonials on there like this. See, this is really cool. So it's like a pre-built, pre-built layouts. Um, how about a table of contents like this? Yeah. See, it marks all the different uh, H2 headings you, you're using. Um, how about form, advanced gallery, icon list, info box. Let's do info box. See, now how about if we uh, 
let's make a row of three. So let's use a row layout of three and let's do that one. And then I'm gonna drag, oh, sorry. I'm gonna drag this right into here. There you go. And I'm just gonna duplicate it, drag that into there. Oops, sorry. Oh, my mouse is sensitive. Do another one. And let's just put it into here. Cool, right? And then I'm gonna select the parent. Oh, I see, this is different ways of copy pasting. I'm trying to select the parent. There you go, I got the parent. So that's a little, uh, and then here, and then I can change number of columns. I can change the padding and the margins, right? Um, Let's change the side paddings, decrease it a little bit. Oh, okay, okay. All right, I should have left it where it was because I don't like what I'm doing right now. There you go, yeah, and just leave this alone. Um, dividers, text color settings. Wow, how fun. Um, I can also, whoops, I gotta select it again. See, and I can decide like, okay, on mobile, like how do I want it to go like this? Or maybe I want it to be two columns in mobile, or maybe I want it like this. So these are, this is all really, really cool. Um, and then let's preview the mobile version, tablet, yeah. So in mobile, it looks like, oh, okay. I don't know what I did, but I didn't do a very good job, clearly. How about in mobile? Let's keep it at that. Oh, I think I think maybe because the image block. I think the image block is preventing it from 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 a mobile responsive. Okay. Well, let's do this. How about the tablet? And let's change this to tablet view. For tablet view, let's see if we can try to use this layout. And Okay, so it doesn't seem to be doing what I want. Doesn't matter. There's like a million different Gutenberg block plugins out there. If one doesn't work or it doesn't, for whatever reason, you can use something else. I love the accordion, right? So you can type stuff into here and then when they click, it expands, right? Something like that. Question one, answer one. Yeah, and I'm gonna Close that out. I don't need all that. And let's just preview in a new tab. See, so you can have it open, close. You can use the tab block. So there's so many fun options here. I mean, you just you just go down the list and play with whatever you want. Now let's get on. Let's move on to a more full functioning block. And these I would I would call these like Cubely stackable Kyokin blocks. So these are like full on page builders, okay? And let's just do this one real quick. And let's just do stackable, and I think it should be installed, but if not, okay, it's not. So we'll just put this on right now. And this is crazy. This is this is like full on. Yeah, it, it's it's like a page builder using Gutenberg, and here. And we're gonna call it stackable. So these plugins, they're full featured and they have free and paid versions. So I'm gonna go here and just like this, I can go browse all and I'm gonna find the stackable blocks. So text, okay, so you see how stackable doesn't like create their own section, they added theirs. So some of these you have to know like, oh, this is a stackable block, this is a default block. Right, and sometimes if you use their version, it comes with like more features and and things to. Okay, no, no, I don't need instructions. See, so this is really nice. It can show you like different ways to lay things out. Way more styling options. Um, just so much fancier, and you see how it's so modular. You just install like little blocks at a time. You don't have to do a full-on layout. Okay, let's see what else Stackable has. I mean, there's so many. If you go to the site, you're going to see so many options out there. Feature grid, feature header, numbers box, right? Okay, 
pricing box. That's really handy. Where is it? Boom. There you go, right? And don't forget, you have the built-in patterns already in WordPress, right? WordPress even comes with patterns. Like, let's just say this. All right, now over here, what I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go to the stackable site. And let's just see all the features. See, so these are all the different blocks. Crazy, crazy, crazy. Stackable can also do like full on page builder designs, right? So here you go. You go to the design library and you just choose. I mean, it's, you know, it's like Elementor, all that, whatever you want. Um, let's do only the free designs because I installed the free version. And we can just scroll through here and pick, you know, whichever ones we think are cool. Now, if you do the, if you allow the premium designs, then you have like the super, the super sexy stuff. But anyways, let's just pick a free one and get going. And I pick this, right? And there it is. And then to edit it, you click in there, right? Um, if you wanna change colors. So I'm gonna click in this one and let me see if it will let me edit this. It should be able to go. Oh, okay, so here's a different options. Let's, let's, I'm trying to go here. Ah, button one, I see. So it's in here. And let's just change this color to blue. Right, and then maybe I want to change this image. Where do I go? Uh, oh, I'm guessing it's in general. Ah, it's in the block background. There you go. So let's just change this for something else. How about this uh, dark background right here? Maybe that will appear nice. Okay, there you go, the tint strength. So there's all kinds of styling options. I mean, it really is, it, it really is like a page builder. Um, you, okay, and then if you want to do the separators, right, top separator, then you can do, uh, where's the bottom, bottom separator. So as you can see, I, I think you guys can see where this goes. Like it, it's, a, it's a whole other rabbit hole of WordPress site building. And there you go. That was a lot of fun. That was very simple. And this is going to be so much faster because uh, then it loads faster than a page builder, right? Because it's modular, it's, it's putting only the part that you're using. Whereas a page builder just loads an entire library and slows down your site a lot. Okay, uh, I'll stop this video here. On the next video, I'll go over um, how to get like a really, like a truly page builder-ish uh, looking layout using Gutenberg blocks. I hope you guys are enjoying this series. See you on the next video.